How to use Jenny AI. Hello and welcome to our channel, WebWiz. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Jenny AI. So please watch till the end to properly understand the tutorial. So the first thing that you need to do is to open your browser and kindly go to Jenny.ai. Or you can simply type on Google Jenny AI and just click the first link that come up. In which upon clicking on the first link, you will be directed in here. And on this website, it will show you the services that they offer. And as you can see, using this platform, you can research and write your next paper with Jenny AI, which is very helpful to a student for academics. And below is the sample preview picture of how Jenny AI work, in which it provide a 10 times writing speed and even a plagiarism checker, in which by clicking on some word, you can change or customize an alternative words in which this platform offers services like ChatGPT offer but only limited in writing an essay or paper. And using this platform, you can write, cite, or edit with the tools it provides and with features built to enhance your research and writing capabilities. And some of the features that they offer is AI autocomplete, in-text citation, including APA style, MLA style, and Harvard style. And if you scroll down below here, it will show you some of the features that they offer, such as paraphrase and rewrite, and you can also customize styles, in which using this platform, it will help you to paraphrase any text in any tone. And with the help of AI Assistant, you will never write alone, in which you will get suggestions whenever you want to spawn your ideas. Since this platform has been using by over 1 million empowered writers. And as you can see here, these are some of the lists of the positive feedback from the users of Jenny AI. And aside from that, you will see here some of the content that Jenny can help you with, such as in making essay, blog posts, literature reviews, personal statements, stories, and speeches, in which using this platform, you can save hours of writing of those literature while at the same time providing the services and context with high quality. But if you have any concern or question, you can go directly to Frequently Asked Question, in which it will show you some of the concerns that is common or frequently asked, and below those questions is the answers that you're looking for. And now that we know the background of this platform and the services that they offer, we can now proceed by clicking Start Writing for Free in order to create an account. And you will be directed in here. And in order to sign up in Jenny.ai, you can sign up using your Google account or you may enter your full name, email address, and enter a password. But in this video, I'm going to choose to sign up using my Google account. Just click the sign up with Google. And after that, you need to select an answer to personalize your Jenny writing experience. So I'm going to click the student option to write an essays assignments, or academic papers. And from here, you have the option to write what are you writing today. You can also check the boxes that says Outline Builder, in which automatically create document headings, or otherwise exit this option. And as you can see on the left side panel, you can start creating your essay or other literature by clicking New Document. And aside from that, you will also see on the left side panel the Upgrade option in order to upgrade your account or you can join to their Discord account. And of course, you will see here your profile info. And to start creating or making an essay, we can proceed in this untitled page, in which you can customize the title of it. Let's say, Sample Essay. And after that, just hit Enter. And when you are now on the subtitle part, it will automatically show you some of the context that you may add. And to accept or add this context, just click the right arrow on your keyboard, or alternatively, Control J. And after pressing the key, it will show you that this contact is now added to your essay. And after that, it will show you the new context that you may add. And the same process to add it, which is by pressing the right arrow on your keyboard. And aside from that, you can also change a specific word or its synonym, which by clicking on a specific word, it will show you some of the suggestion. You can accept or dismiss the suggestion. Aside from that, you can also drag a specific sentences, the location or part of the essay that you want. 
You can also click Ctrl K to open the toolbar. But if you want to edit the whole sentence, you can select the sentence and it will show you some of the options that you can choose. So just to edit, improve, or generate text, and even add a citation in order to prevent plagiarism. And aside from that, you may also change a block format type, in which by clicking on it, it will show you the option such as text, heading 1, 2, heading 3, numbered list, and bulleted list. And from here, you can also navigate to undo, redo, and action. And even to add or upload, import media files in here. You can also make the text bold, italic, with underline, or even attach a link to it. And that's just some of the options that you can do in order to customize the context of your essay. And in writing an essay using Jenny AI, if you don't want the suggestion or suggested context or some part of the sentences it provides, you have the choice to not accept the suggested context by simply clicking other keys. And after that, just wait for it to regenerate of its other suggested contexts. But aside from those options, you can also navigate on the right side panel if you want to ask questions to this platform. And make sure that those questions that you want to ask is related to analyze document or suggest improvements. Well, you can also navigate the three dots on the top panel option. It will show you some of the options including undo, redo, or even export the document or your essay. And of course, for the last option is to delete this document. And aside from those options, you can also click or navigate this plagiarism checker, but you also need to make sure that you write at least 100 words in order to access or use this feature. And aside from that, you can also navigate the setting option, in which you can customize some of the things including auto-suggestion, in which you can turn this off if you don't want a suggestion from AI, or you can select your content type such as essay, blog, email, free flow, and in terms of content tone, you have the choices to choose whether professional, friendly, persuasive, bold, and academic. But of course, it depends on the content type that you're writing. And from here, you may also type your document prompt or description to prompt Jenny. In addition, you can also select your citation styles such as APA7, MLA9, Harvard, and many more. And aside from that, if you want to access some of the features that they provide, you can upgrade your account to experience some of the benefits of having additional feature. So just click this upgrade button on top panel and it will show you some of the offer plan or upgrade to unlimited. And if you upgrade your account, you will receive an unlimited AI generation. You can ask Jenny AI Assistant and you will have unlimited citation. And those upgrades you can buy amounting to $20 per month or $144 per year. And in this platform, if you want to create another essay or project, you can proceed by clicking New Document, which is located on the left side panel. And after that, just follow the same step, which is to customize your title. And from here, let's say how to become a virtual assistant. And after you click Enter, you will be directed to subheading part in which AI will generate a context. And you can accept by clicking the right arrow button or keys on your keyboard. And you can now start creating your work literature. So that is just how to use Jenny AI. Thank you.